Well, it's Christmas time and I don't feel like working on anything right now. So I'm just going to take this thing out and do some snow wheeling because that's what you do in winter. Hmm. It's 70 degrees and sunny. This might be trickier than it sounds. While you guys are watching that intro, we uh, did a little bit of traveling. We're now at about an 8,000 foot elevation in weather that's sort of snow-like and feels like winter. In fact, there's some snow back there and ice. Now, the question is, can we find something to drive on? Let's find out. Pull down. You want to stretch your legs? Well, apparently we're overheating. Uh, never overheat in the desert, but now that it's cold, it's overheating. Now this is weird. Supposedly, according to the gauge, it's at 240 degrees. That's cold. That's a little warm. The motor's warm, but I mean that's not 240 warm. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but um, we're just going to go play a little bit, let this cool down according to the gauge or something, and then uh, we'll drive again. The fan belt is, was a little loose. I moved the adjustment all the way to the end, and it seems better. So maybe the water pump wasn't spinning? I don't know, but uh, we'll give it a shot, see what happens.
Well, we made it back home. Uh, the cooling issue, immediately solved by tightening the fan belt. Uh, ran 160 degrees the whole rest of the day. Now, my best guess is since I've never driven it in that cold of weather, it was probably on the edge of slipping a lot. And uh, the warmer weather gave it a little more friction. The cold weather made it a little slipperier. That's the best I can come up with. But uh, as soon as I tightened it, that worked great. I bet a little steam pocket had formed somewhere in the motor because the coolant wasn't circulating. And that's why the temperature just went way up on the gauge because the motor wasn't even that hot either. Either way, tightening it solved the problem. So that was done. Now I didn't actually find snow to drive in. The best I could do was a puddle with some ice on it, but it was a good puddle. Uh, it actually turned pretty muddy. Got to give these tires a bit of a workout. Really, I had no problem driving through it, but it was uh, kind of fun to plow through. Actually, it might have been a little too much fun. I stayed there a little too long. Ended up having to tie the thing down in the dark, but oh well, what can you do? Either way, it was a great day out. My family and I got to enjoy a nice pine forest right at Christmas time. Uh, and that just, uh, with the cold weather, it's a nice little uh, open sleigh here to go for a ride in. So uh, that was a lot of fun. We all enjoyed it. And that's what matters. So uh, till next time, I will be doing work on something, not this. I got another project in the garage I'm almost done with. So you'll get to see that in the next video. But until then, you have yourself a Merry Christmas and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Hopefully it's not because <laughs> it's really windy. <laughs> they will if I put it in. Okay. <laughs>